Alright, well, hello YouTube, and uh, all my fans of me, Sonic fans, Smash 4 fans, blah blah blah, yeah. So hey, I'm 6WX, or Wesley, you know, and today, I kind of just decided to make a video. So, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience at Shine, that I just, you know, ended up getting fourth at, which is good. It's annoying because I lost to a Robin, but good stuff to death anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about what happened over the weekend because Shine was an amazing tournament, and uh, it's one of, it's on my list to go to next year. But anyways, guess I'll talk. I'll start from day zero briefly because day zero was pretty much flying, and kinda the flight part was I had like three different delays and gate switches and or terminal switches so that was kind of fun I was running around the airport like I'm Sonic but yeah and yeah I eventually got on the plane and then later that day I got to the venue got the badge saw anti played him in a quick friendly and then I got down smashed at the ledge and then all of a sudden Ken's the best Sonic again so yeah, screw you, but yeah, that was a fun day zero. That that just reminded me, all right, when I play people in tournament, I can't mess around, can't screw up, can't get baited, you know. That was just the early mindset thing. Day one, I was up, I believe, at 7.30, maybe, 8, 7.30, maybe 6.30, because I woke up randomly, but anyways, yeah, I woke up, went to the venue with uh, my Circa homies, uh, Trotta, who's one of the co-owners of Circa, and also Circa Gazer. But yeah, we went to the venue, got there by 10 for my pools. Uh, pract I practiced a bit beforehand and, you know, regular things. And when I got to the pool, I kind of just won a couple games really fast and I was done. And I was, I'll admit I was slightly disappointed because... I was like, wait, I only played two games and I'm out of pools? But, you know, that's just how it was. Because I got a buy and, you know, there wasn't that many people who attended Shine. And it happens like that sometimes. But I was okay with it, you know. I'm not going to really, like, honestly complain that I got to move on quickly. But anyways, yeah. So after those two games, kind of just roamed until double started later. Practice with Kel Kelsey, Supergirl Kels. I'm sure everybody knows her. Awesome Sonic name. But yeah, after that, we kind of just enjoyed the venue after some double. Yeah, we had some great doubles games though. I can't remember if we went on stream day one or not, because I didn't go on stream for singles, but, but uh, yeah, me and Kelsey had some really good synergy, I think, so. Yeah, did doubles. And then later that evening at 8 p.m., that's when crews started. And crews were funny, because, you know, I had the crew with, let's see, Zero, Lar Larry, Mars, and Pug West, and myself, yeah. And everyone was looking at the crew like, oh, we just got an auto win, this is going to be free, blah, blah, blah. And I'll admit that I was thinking, you know, is this even fair? But, you know, Mars went ahead and, like, almost took out a whole crew by himself. Although there was a really strong Donkey Kong player in there who was, who was able to actually take Mars' stocks. And he took one of my stocks, too. So I was, like, was kind of like, oh, this guy's good. So that happened. But And then the rest was we had zero kind of wipe out a whole crew by himself. But he lost his stock to a strong little Mac. And then, what happened after that? I think we played it, we played uh, some New Englanders that had, and they were strong, I remember. But in the end, I just kinda, we didn't have to bring out zero that time. I just cleaned up the last stock. And then we came up against Florida, and that's where I was a little surprised because Florida was playing, like, they were playing really strong in that crew battle. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I wonder if Florida's, like, gonna do well this tournament. 
you know, I, I was just like looking at them like, why are they? I was wondering like why we actually had to go to our last man. Cause they didn't even have Esam in their crew. They had Dyer who, yeah, they, they had Dyer, they had Death, they had, uh, for some reason they had Mekos, I think. I don't think Mekos is Florida, but they also had Manny who went by Spark at this tournament. And then they had Nick Riddle. So they were actually able to get it down to the last man, which was zero. But, you know, we still won. And it was fun. But yeah, that was day one. You know, most of the time it was just, I was worried about Smash and staying focused, staying on point. And yeah, met a bunch of people. But yeah, day two. Day two uh, got there at 12 for round two pools. And I won pretty solidly. There was nothing surprising about it, but... Hmm. And forgive me for my memory for being a little bit off, possibly, because I don't remember everything that happened right now. But day two, we did get... We... Oh yeah, day two was doubles, where Kells... Yeah, Kells and I ended up losing. We ended up getting seventh. We made top eight. But we ended up losing to JJ Rockets and can't remember for the life of me, but he was a strong Luigi player. And that match, I felt really bad because I felt like I just personally messed up a lot. And then, then we ended up playing Nick Riddle and Death and Losers. And it's funny because we both ran to Death right then and there. And we were also like scheduled to have to play Death again later. Well, she was scheduled to play Death, and I was scheduled to play, uh, hmm, who was it? Hmm, uh, oh, Blood Cross, yes, I played Blood Cross, and then after beating Blood Cross, I was gonna play the winner of Kells and, uh, Death. So, but we ended up losing in doubles to Nick Riddle Death, because Death just kept killing us at like 80, 90, just 11 sword stuff. And I thought that was interesting though, but, and then we ended up also both losing to death in the tournament. And that's when I was kind of, I guess you could say salty. Yeah. But I realized, you know, all right, I messed up. Death is really strong. Poof. And I said, you know what, honestly, right then and there, I wanted to play him again. I, I was ready to $50 money match him or something, but I was like, let me calm down. Let me just, let me just keep playing. You never know. I might, I'll probably get the chance to play him again tomorrow because the bracket, the bracket originally had me playing Larry and then the winner of us would play the loser of zero and death and no offense, but I was pretty sure D Zero wasn't going to lose the death because he did beat him at CEO. And I just felt like, you know, Zero was going to be strong enough to stay solid in that. But I ended up being on the bottom side of the bracket and set anyway. So, yeah. But I went to bed that night kind of kind of really angry at myself. But I felt, you know, confident that I would beat him the next time. However, the next morning, I woke up. And I went to the venue, and you know, as we were warming up, I, I guess I just, I was calm by then, you know? I was like, all right. I was more focused about the end result of just me playing well overall. I, yeah, I, I guess I was just like, I just remembered the goal here is not to just beat one person, it's to win the tournament. So that's what I was trying to do. Stay focused on winning the tournament stay warmed up, be ready, and all that. And in top eight, which was the first top eight I've been in in a while, <laughs> I had a Sonic Ditto. So, and it was actually really funny and fun. I craft this and back in Brawl KC24. He's a good Sonic main, really strong, really fun. He's aggressive like me, but he likes to do a lot more technical things with Sonic. And by technical, I don't mean technical in my way where I like the technical movement style things and stuff. I mean more like he's trying to footstool spike you all the time and he, he'll go for the spring ride a lot 
and yeah but the main thing I remember is that he liked to spike people a lot like spin dash the spike so yeah but we when we played uh I did win 3-0 but I think that that's just part of the way of the Sonic Ditto I just made sure not to give him any super good lead yes game two I went up on the top platform on Dreamland. I was trying to catch his landing with a forward air foolishly because I should have known he would have landed fast enough to power shield grab me at like 28% and then with all that rage up throw up there and I'm dead so yes I was a fool everybody you can all shoot me for that yes but it was still fun anyways yeah much love to the Sonic community though anyways after that you know I ran into Mewtwo King who fell to Esam and I thought to myself all right this is my time to shine I guess shining at shine yeah. is this was the rematch because if you've if you've been paying attention to me over the course of the whole my whole career so far in Smash I have lost to Mewtwo King twice already once way back in the beginning which was my very first tournament my first big tournament I mean it was like KTAR 9 or something and I ended up getting ninth of that tournament because I lost I lost a Vex and then I lost a Mewtwo King but and then I lost to him earlier this year at Shots Fired 2 I think it was where he that's when he had Cloud and yeah I lost I kind of, like, losing to him, I realized that, wow, I have to be more patient with this guy. Like, he's actually not going to go in. So, when I played him yesterday, I was ready, I think. Like, I've practiced a lot against Clouds for the past few weeks. I even used Cloud a bunch to, just so I can understand him and possibly maybe have him as a secondary in doubles. But, whew, yeah, I won. Like, I won 3-1, game 4, I got the craziest gimp at like 15% where he just, I just took his jump quickly like a couple back airs and he just barely didn't grab the latch. I'm like, well, I guess that's that. However, it wasn't, that wasn't the end though. Mewtwo King was about to bring it back and I was, I was kind of scared. <laughs> I was like, oh man, he, he turned on the switch real quick. So I had to, but I didn't end it. Like, I think, I do think that Mewtwo King was a little off. I think that he was messing up, rather. Because I remember, like, the ending finishing kill, he threw out a dash attack at the ledge, and I just forward smashed him in the back. And I'm sure he wasn't trying to dash attack in a way that wasn't even looking at me. But, you know, things like that, I was kind of like, uh, he's, he's kind of messing up. Maybe it's the pressure. Maybe it's the fact that he just SD'd at, no, sorry, the fact that he just got gimped under 20 percent you know i thought i thought of these things but i probably shouldn't take away anything from myself in this moment but but yeah anyways i did that but then i got to play death again and i was actually happy because you know i wanted my rematch i was like like that night before i was filled with a lot of anger and a lot of salt but right then and there i was kind of like all right Let's do this again. Let's do this right. And it started off with me losing. And I was kind of like, whoops. Okay. I messed up. And then I won the next two games pretty well. And the th I was set to win the fourth game pretty well, too. And then he made a big comeback. And he had one nice read that led to me dying. And I was, I kind of just was really mad at myself at that moment. And I think that after that happened, I had probably no patience left because from what I remember game five I ran into a lot of arc fires arc and there was moments where I thought I was blocking it but then I released shield too early and I rolled forward I, I think I just was completely gone on tilt but but yeah that's just what happens and that was on me I lost I lost to the same person twice so and I yeah, I let a Robin get third place. He could have, he possibly could have got second too, or I don't think he would be zero, but 
he was very close to beating Esam. He brought him to game five as well. So good stuff to death. And yeah, shout out to Robin, the mid tier. <laughs> but yeah, it felt good though to get fourth place. Even it reminded me of that first big apex that I went to where I got fourth that time. But yeah, it kind of just brought me back to that, that kind of feeling where I put in a lot of hard work and over the <clears throat> over these last few weeks ever since ever since I actually like started playing every day and committing to it and making sure I practiced making sure I was ready although I'll admit I probably I didn't realize the YouTube videos of me versus death and everyone else was already up on YouTube but because if I knew that, I probably would have reviewed my matches with Dath a little closely. Well, I would have reviewed them at all. But I get to do that now. And I'll make sure I don't lose again. But, but uh, yeah. Like, it just reminded me of that feeling when I used to be so dedicated to this game. Way back in the beginning. Going to tournaments every week. Like, two, three tournaments a week. Just hitting up everything all over Jersey and going to Xanadu a couple times and like just follow <coughs> excuse me just following around all the best from Tri-State just trying to be where they're going and compete when they're competing and just finding the best competition it reminded me of those days only now I'm doing it mostly like Wi-Fi practice and solo movement training that I do by myself and you know match re-watching just studying videos of myself and others and stuff like that so yeah i'm just trying to improve and yeah that's that's that so yeah uh congratulations to everybody at this tournament i would like to say that but yeah anything else happened i don't know that was pretty much oh yeah there, there was the after party but probably won't talk about that <laughs> i'll just say that it was fun and shout outs to all the people i met here at shine in boston and all the people that i re-met i guess like like manny for instance manny and nick riddle they showed me they they were just really fun really funny like they're right now they're my favorite floridians <laughs> But, but yeah, all the Sonics there, like there was, I know people were joking about how there's like all these Sonics coming to this tournament and like, wow, you guys are really trying to win the tournament. Well, yeah, we, we had two Sonics in top eight, four Sonics in top 16, like congrats to all of us, you know, good job to um, Kells, Manny, and Kraftis. Whew, but and they all showed me some things so just keep watching and you'll see me adapting even more of like all the best things from every sonic in my style but anyways yeah that was shine and as for shine itself it was a great tournament like there was setups everywhere friendly setups and tournament setups it was run well quickly cleanly and sometimes it felt too good but it was like, really? But then I guess that's what happens when you have, you know, I don't know if, it's, I, I won't say, I won't give the credit to any one person actually, but I'll say that the TOs there were doing their job and they all knew, they knew what we wanted and they gave it to us. So thank you. And yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all I'll say for now. Cause I gotta catch a flight soon, but thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please, if you don't mind, just like, the video subscribe because i'll i'm likely going to be doing more videos uh give me some suggestions though on what kinds of videos you want to see don't ask for a sonic guide please because i'm not ready to give you a sonic guide yet not a whole true one i can do i can do things like uh i guess matchup i might i might do like matchup videos and stuff for certain matchups and stuff but but for now I'm not going to do a whole complete Sonic guide, so don't ask. If you do ask, well, just don't ask. 
But yeah. So yeah, please, again, like the video, share it, subscribe to me. Uh, and also subscribe to my Twitter if you don't mind. You know, if you haven't already. Which is uh, Circa underscore 6WX. And shout outs to Team Circa and all of our sponsors. And uh, yeah, I guess that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. And yeah, gotta go fast.